So we're gonna put a SAS drive in the G5. We're gonna use an LSI Logic. Uh, what is this? 3080X-R. Shows up fine in uh, system information, properties, whatever that thing's called. System profiler. And now we've got a drive and a cable. Unfortunately, this cable, see how it's kind of L-shaped? Well, that this rib, this goes down on these connectors, the way that they oriented these connectors. So, I kind of have to put it in there sideways and just hope it connects enough. But, we'll see. I really don't like this, but that's as far as I can possibly make it go. Ugh. And naturally, the only screw that I had to hold a hard drive in to this thing that they made, kind of clever, uh, I used for that hard drive. So, I'm gonna have to insulate it. Trust me, this is the static, free, pink stuff. And Apple was nice enough to consider the thought of someone maybe putting something in here that needed a cable to go from here to here, because normally, of course, this goes on, and you have to have this on, or else the fans go crazy. But you can't do that if there's a cable in the way. So, we can just fish it up here. Just like that, if I can do it with one hand. Yes. Cool. Now this cable I have, it still needs power. See, it's got a male, I guess, female, kind of depends on how you look at it, <laughs> connector. So this will go onto the drive. And then we'll just use the regular SATA power to give it power. And of course our old SATA power, or not power, data connection is just gonna float there and do whatever it wants. I did one last check to make sure I'm insulated against the other drive, and we can put it all together. At least that far for now. Let's see what happens. Well, it still boots. I'm hearing some action over there. A little bit of action. All right, let's see. System profiler, disk utility. I gotta admit, I already did this once before, so I've got a drive named Sass. I should name it Sassy. That's a better idea. I'm gonna do that right now. Shift S. Y. Uh. Sassy. <laughs> anyway, so it shows up. 136 gig. Fujitsu, Dell branded, cool. And I benchmarked it earlier and it kind of does what you would expect a 15,000 RPM drive to do, benchmark wise. It's not really as fast as the SATA drive in, in some aspects, but it's a lot faster in other ones, so. Yeah, anyway, so over here in our SAS, SAS target device, Fujitsu, PCI cards on the top. We've got an LSI 1068. Looking good. No SCSI. I actually have some SCSI stuff, but I can't get it to work. I don't know if, how I need to terminate the card. It's got two outs. Do I need to terminate the other out? I don't know. SCSI is difficult. So, yes. SAS drive. Sweet. I like the icon. The little SAS icon. Come on. There you go. Yeah. 